when we say philanthropy support, we are passionate, especially about telling the stories of African generosity. The narrative, anywhere you go, and we tested this, we hit the streets of Kampala with a camera and a recorder, and we asked people, everyday people, what is philanthropy? We also asked them, when you think of a philanthropist, who do you think about? And almost nine out of 10 mentioned someone who was white and usually male. And so that led us to start the conversation of we too are philanthropists because philanthropy is love for humanity. And you cannot be an African and not have grown up seeing, being a recipient of, but being also a passer on of love for humanity. During the time of COVID, over the last two years when the restrictions were really tight, we did five volumes of generosity during the time of COVID. And these were just stories of everyday people doing everyday acts of generosity. We also did curated proverbs, African proverbs on generosity, because we said it's part of us and part of the way we do life as Africans is through proverbs. And so we picked out proverbs, African proverbs on generosity. The other thing that we are doing is this photo exhibition. Today, we sent out two photographers, Jim Joel and Miriam Watsemba. And we say, go around, stand behind your camera lens and think about and look through that lens and bring us symbols and expressions of generosity from around Uganda. If you to understand our taboos, our culture, you have to understand the people, the community. And for this particular project, it was not all about just popping into a community and taking photos, but you had to first do some background research. That drew me a lot to understand myself, our own culture, because usually we wait for the Western world to tell our own story, but what if you told it your own self? There's a way in which these people will be genuine. They will not be acting for the money or something like that, but they would really want to pass on the culture to the next generation. And I was amazed that the majority of people who were talking to were people of 70 and above. And I felt honored to be the bridge to the next generation, capturing and archiving our culture. When I got the, the brief of what the job entails, first I was shocked, like there's something called philanthropy in Africa. Because when you hear philanthropy, the first thing you'd think about is definitely foreign, you know, help coming through, foreign aid and things like that. And then here was an organization saying, we're going to communities in Uganda to document symbols and experiences of philanthropy. And so get into the field, what I found interesting and what really just blew my mind was realizing the whole time philanthropy is actually something that is embedded in our nature as humans. It's in us, it's in, it's in, it's in our homes, in the way we were raised, um, in the way we shared food as a family at supper time. It is in the way um, people in African society went gardening together in groups and rotations in their communities. It was such an adventure. And the thing that stood out for me the most is uh, that oneness in people, that Ubuntu element that you would find crossing borders and crossing districts. It seems to just be at the core of all humans, regardless of what tribe they are or which district they're in or their geographical location. There are not very many images of African generosity. And even where there are, again, people usually put it in the frame of it must be a rich African giving somewhere. And so we wanted to bring the pictures of everyday people doing everyday things, whether it is giving through initiation ceremonies, whether it is giving through our agricultural practices, whether it is giving through our wedding or funeral ceremonies or birthing ceremonies. We wanted to show in picture a different narrative. I think the sense of community, which is a very African uh, theme, 
whether you talk about uh, chamas as we call them in Kenya, which are you know communal you know savings groups, uh, revolving funds uh, as they're otherwise called in the West, or whether you talk about the spirit of Ubuntu as they call it in the Southern African uh, nations. It's really about uh, people helping each other. And so um, we look for ways to try and see what can be done. And I mentioned one of our most recent projects that we're working on with the government, focusing on the micro enterprises and the women uh, who get normally would be stuck at that level because they don't really have the support systems to allow them to to move uh, on and so trying to see how we can build on this the spirit of a revolving fund or a chama to get these women to help each other to to move up the the ladder and uh, help their families more seeing all like your three work three weeks to four weeks journey effort your over 400 miles traveled in one book uh, taking borders, going to different places, crossing bridges, taking boats, taking ferries, all compiled in one book. That was, that was so amazing. It's so, um, I, I wouldn't say magical, it's so fulfilling that you can summarize three weeks to four weeks work in just a book and pass it on. But the behind the scenes, that was more fulfilling to me. That our effort is not, gone to us, but at least there's a generation that will benefit from this. So what we learned was people assume, especially when you use the word philanthropy, that it is only white rich people. And so hearing that, we said, how do we break down the term in words that are palatable to us, words that we can connect with? And so generosity, is, that's why we use the word generosity. But the other thing was, and how can we hold a mirror to people? Like when you think about generosity, think about first yourself. Like we always tell people, there's, 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 you cannot sit in a room where Africans are and no one has either given or been a recipient of generosity. So just to bring it down to that level, for people to know and understand, generosity is me, because I can see myself. I can see my family, I can see my community, I can see my friends, I can see the people I go to a religious institution, right? Generosity is me, generosity is us.